<laughs> Still more dog life. Oh yeah, don't forget you, Annie. Oh, I am out here in Carmel Valley, Pacific Trail, Pacific Highland Trails. The skate park just opened. There's a couple skate parks here. Uh, I was thinking about having this dog pull me. He looks like he could uh, pull me just fine on the skateboard and uh, do a few laps, you know, around the area. We'll see how that goes. Um, uh, I got Annie, my host dog. This is uh, Brady. Gotta get my uh, dog's names correct. Uh, Brady just showed up. He's staying the weekend. He's going home. This is a Halloween morning. Uh, I'm at the yeah, Pacific Highlands Park. There's a uh, there's that small skate park. There's the pump track. There is a dog park here. Um, I'm not really into the dog park. I prefer uh, something with the big open space. I'd rather just do laps over here. That I, th there's this dog park, and I don't need, I, I forget it's here. It's like the last thing I think of because I would rather go to the skate park. <laughs> But we're here with Brady. Brady is still here. Uh, he's a big cuddly dog on his raw food diet. Annie is really liking his raw food diet because, you know, she basically shares whatever food they bring over. And if she likes it, she'll happily eat it. So, you know, we might be going to that raw food diet, the Instinct brand to, uh, I don't know, she's getting... Eight, eight, nine thousand steps a day still. Uh, she is 11 years old. 11 years old now. Someone skateboarding. And uh, so, you know, here out here, here's the uh, Pacific Highlands. Nice, wonderful feel. It, it does a little loop here. A little nice park. Uh, so, I had a topic on R slash Rover pet sitting someone was uh, talking about um, they want to fire a client because uh, their, their dog's a big pain and by big that she means 120 pounds and it has zero training it, it, it tears into everything the owner the owner is is uh, the type of person who doesn't believe in crates Polly doesn't believe in leashes <laughs> doesn't believe in any sort of you know overly positive training doesn't even use, doesn't like using the word no on a 120 pound dog so she's got this dangerous dog you know overly friendly destroying everything no no boundaries at least it's friendly you know at least those dogs that that size at least they're friendly but they will bounce around and destroy everything and if they bark, it's like really voluminous. And it might not even be barking at, at the dogs for like, to be angry, they just like bark to be like, hey, I wanna talk to you because I have no manners at all. Not this boy. Brady has good manners. Brady walks really easy. And, and he's good with the small dogs. So that's, that's pretty good. And so she's trying to figure out a way of firing this, this person. And I, that kind of client, uh, me, me, I would be like, look, if you're if if you're staying with me, I'm I'm doing training for your dog. I've I found the curriculum for it. I started, you know, uh, I read a couple books about, you know, what sit how how many times to make them sit, where to make them sit, you know, doing things. I can follow a curriculum with dogs, and you know, I can potty I potty train dogs weekly, you know, and I definitely create train. That is a thing, and if it, you can't stay with me if your dog's not crate trained, or is not willing to be tra trained, or it, it will go in the crate at some point, okay? Because they counter surf, especially these big labs right here. They counter surf. You know, they'll they'll jump up on the counter and just eat everything. You know, if if they have a mind to. You know, some dogs are just super food motivated, and there's if there's any morsel of food. In the garbage can, any morsel of food, you know, on the counter. If you leave the house, they will just eat it and destroy it, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I'm gonna, you know, 
with a client like that, I am no longer having pity on their feelings. Okay. Um, you know, even if it means like, uh, if, if, I, if I think they're going to give me a, a review after a while, like, it's self-selecting, you know, like, I have to select these dogs because to me it sounds like a Denver. What the, 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 the owner and the, and the dog that she has is a Denver. And I have a name for those kind of dogs. Big, giant, 120-pound dogs that have no, zero training. Uh, you know, actually, the, I, I've watched a few of them. And, um, you know, I've never turned them down. But I always tell them, like, you have to follow my judgment when the dog is with me. You, you're getting training at my dogs, you know. But, you know, if, it, if it's a problem over and over... I've, I've fired someone over medication. I told him, I said, I can't give your dog medication anymore because it's just, it's just too difficult. It, if, if it takes me 10, 15 minutes and I'm sweating, if, 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 if it's harder for me to give medication than it is to wrestle, you know, to wrestle like another grown man for three to five rounds, five minute rounds in jujitsu, then, then it's, if your dog is, is that level of difficulty, here, I'll show you guys the park. I don't really go in this park here. This is a small side. See, I have a I have a big dog side. I have a big dog and a small dog. And so they have a small side and a big side. So what would I do? What would I do? I would not I I'm not leaving one. You're in this see this is a small dog side. You keep we're not going in here. Let's go in the big dog side. So yeah, fire. Tell her tell her the reason why. Tell her. Like, your dog is too hard. You, you, raise the rates. Raise the rates on her. You know, if anything. That's that's always a nice, subtle way of doing it. Is, is uh, start adding fees. Just start add, just adding add-on fees before she, when she books you. Like, just add on an extra $125. Be like, well, I'm, I'm having things destroyed. So, uh, your dog is, is going to cost extra. You know, charge by the pound. <laughs> you know, that's so you know, $120 a night. You know, if it's that big and they can't afford it, they got to find somebody else to put up with their nonsense. Because uh, now, now I just I weed these out in the in the in the meet and greet. These sort of clients, after many years of being in this, you're going to see these signs. When when you meet them at the meet and greet, you will see these signs. Here, I'm gonna let you off, Lee Shani. You can come off leash too. Hold on. Well, if you keep moving away, I can't do it. There you go. Okay. This is the dog park. I think I'll do a different video for that. We're at eight minutes here. Nobody's watching this far. Thanks, everybody.